In this video, we will see what all the new small updates we have done, which is very useful for trading in one click. Okay, let's get into it. This option is very useful for people who wanted to change the position window tabs from left to right or whichever is very convenient to them. For that, you have to log into one click and on your position window, you will have one settings option here. Click on that, click on column setting and you can see product type if it is not required to you and your screen is very wider. If you wanted to uncheck, you can uncheck that and unrealized profit is not required to me means you can uncheck that. Whichever column, if you feel it is not required, you can uncheck and save the setting and that column would be removed. If you wanted to change the column from one place to another, you can just click on that, move it and save the column position. Now, once you save that, always your target will be after your SL, even if you refresh it. You can see after refresh also, it is like that. And if you wanted to have a same settings again, I will interchange and I will save. And if you wanted to reset your column settings, you can go to the column setting and reset it. It will reset as a default one. Okay. This is how you use a column setting. Type. This is one of the very requested people by all whoever want to hide their MTM for psychology purpose. For example, we will take one position and MTM is running now. If you feel this running MTM will affect your trading decision, you can click on setting, click hide MTM. Now the MTM is hidden. So you can decide based on your strategy, not based on your MTM. And if you want to show MTM again, click settings and show MTM. Now your MTM is visible. So this is how you use hide MTM option. Here you have a action column. Once you are in position, you will have action button option here. For example, I am entering into a trade now. So once I entered into a trade, you can see X button. So if you click this, all position would be closed. And if you wanted to close a partial position, you can click here. It will show you can exit 25%, 50%, 75% and 100%. So if you wanted to exit whichever portion of your current position, you can click that. For example, I will exit 50% now. So once you click that, I have exited 50% and remaining is still pending. This exit percentage will be available for you once you are entering into a trade. And the next one is a reverse entry. So if you click reverse entry, it will convert your buy position into a sell position. For example, I will click reverse entry. Can you see the buy position has converted into a sell position means it has exited the current buy position and created a new short position. Okay. So I'll click here and I will reverse again. So now it has again converted from sell to buy. So if you go to this order book, you can see there is two sell orders. So one sell order is for exiting the position and one more sell order is for creating one more order. Okay. That is a reverse entry. And if you wanted to convert your option now, if you click this, it will automatically convert from a C to P. So I will click this. It will exit the CE trade and enter a PE trade of same strike. So here you can see same strike C is exited and PE is entered. Okay. So this is how the reverse entry and convert option type works guys. Whenever you wanted to select a strike, typically you have to go here, click this, then you will select the strike. But if you have already traded in that strike from your position window also, you can open that. For example, now I'm into bank nifty. Suddenly I feel uh, there is a good move in mid cap. So I have traded already mid cap in the morning. So if I select that mid cap strike, automatically that would be selected here. You can see 
and again i want to convert to bank nifty again i will select any one strike and it will be automatically opening so if you click on any strike it will automatically select that strike on the top so position type here we have given all position fno position and equity position only so if you are a person who is trading equity and uh, fno in same account this option would be very useful for you so once you select show only fno position by default it will show only fno and it will hide all your equity position by default and if you select all position it will show all your open position now Switching the broker is one of the very important feature where you can easily switch the broker. Now if I have to switch it, I have to close the one click window, I have to click play button and then I have to open one click window. This will take some time but here we have one more option where I can switch from the one click window itself. On top you have broker, click on that you will have list of brokers which token is already generated for today and you can select that for example i am selecting a finvaishya which is already saying your mtm stop loss or target whichever you are saved in this broker will not work if you select yes can change it will automatically change and open the broker whichever you wanted you can see how easily we are switching between the brokers or between the accounts what we have so these are the new updates in our one click See you in our next video. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more updated videos in our channel. Keep learning and earning.